into a cell. The power of a spreadsheet lies in the fact that the cells can contain formula which performs mathematical operations on the data in other cells and display the result. Let us go for types of data handled by a cell. Every cell can handle four types of data, numeric such as 1, 2, 3, text such as A, B, C and special sign, formula, logic, error messages. A spreadsheet is like a grid of cells with a programmable calculator attached to a cell. The computer can perform calculations at a blinding speed. It does not matter how many numbers and formulas you put in a spreadsheet, the computer can recalculate every formula every time you change any numbers. Electronic spreadsheets can also be used for presenting the worksheet data in an impressive manner such as bar chart, pie chart, line graph, three dimensional chart and other visual forms. The term spreadsheet and worksheet mean one and the same, but now over time the term spreadsheet has come to refer specifically to software packages, while worksheet refers to a file that you create with spreadsheet software. Now, let us go for the spreadsheet applications. The applications are payments of bill, income tax calculation, cost benefit analysis, financial accounting, result analysis of a student. Now, let us see about the advantages of using an electronic spreadsheet. The electronic spreadsheet offers several advantages over the manual one. The following are some of the main advantages. Calculations are automated through built-in mathematical, financial and statistical functions. Accurate results to any desired level of decimal points are possible. Worksheets can be quite big in size. Any part of a worksheet can be viewed or edited. Worksheet can be saved and retrieved later. Any part or whole of a document can be merged with the existing or a new worksheet. Any part or whole of a worksheet can be printed in a desired format. Worksheet can be viewed in the form of graphs or charts. The worksheet information can be transferred to any database or word processing software. Creating a worksheet is a process that involves the steps, entering and organizing the data, creating formulas, editing worksheet, formatting values, labels and cells, adding charts, if required analyzing the data and printing the worksheet. So, this is a worksheet in which all the documents will be contained, toolbars, name box, formula bar, worksheet window, navigation button and sheet table. Title bar, the title bar displays both name of the application and name of a spreadsheet. Menu bar, so it will be present in the top tool bar. So, in tools what are the tools will be available, all the tools will be displayed. Column heading, which will be present such as a, B, C, D, E, F. Each Excel spreadsheets contains 256 columns. Each column is named by a letter or combination of letters. Row heading. Each spreadsheet contains 65 536 rows. Each row is named by a number. Name box. This shows the address of the current selection or active set formula bar. The formula bar 
displays the information entered or being entered as you type in the current or active cell. The contents of a cell can be edited in a formula bar. Cell A cell is the intersection of a column and a row. Each cell has a unique address. In the picture above, the cell address of a selected cell is B3. The heavy border around the selected cell is called cell pointer. Now, navigation button and sheet tab. Navigation button allows you to move to another worksheet in an Excel workbook. They are used to display the first, previous, next and last worksheet in a workbook. Sheet tabs separate a workbook into a specific worksheet. A workbook default to three worksheets. A workbook must contain at least one worksheet. Now, let us see how understanding a file terms. The file menu consists of new, open, close, save, save as. New, this is used to create a new workbook. Open, this is used to open an existing file from a floppy disk or hard drive of a computer. Close, this is used to close a spreadsheet. Save as, this is used when you are saving a new file for the first time or saving an existing file with a different name. Save, this is used to save a file that has changes made to it. If you close the worksheet without saving and all the changes will be lost. To create an excel workbook, choose file from the file, new from the menu bar as given in the representation. The new workbook task pan opens on the right side of a screen. Choose blank workbook under the new category heading. A blank workbook opens in an excel window. The new workbook task pan is closed. So, this is a representation of an excel where blank workbook will be there. If you click it, automatically blank workbook will be opened. Now, let us see how to save a workbook. Every workbook created in Excel must be saved and assigned a name to distinguish it from the other. The first time you save a workbook, Excel will prompt you to assign name through the save as operation. Once a file is assigned a name, any additional changes made to the text, numbers or formulas must be saved through a save operation. To save a new workbook, choose file, save as from the menu bar, the dialog box appears. So, this is a format of save as, we are going to type the name and give the extension as dot xls. To save changes made to an existing workbook, choose file, save from the menu bar or click the save button from the standard toolbar. It is good idea to save frequently when working in a spreadsheet. Losing information will lead to problems. You can quickly save your spreadsheet by using control plus s. Opening a workbook. You can open any workbook that has previously been saved by a given name. Choose file, open from the menu bar. So, automatically this window appears, you can type your name dot xls and give open, the window will be opened. Closing a workbook, choose file, close from the menu bar. The worksheet in the excel window is closed. Excel will prompt you to save information if anything has been typed between the last save and the time you close the file. 